With this induction, is Inesh Dr. Ambassador Hinitu become the first ever foreigner to have been inducted into the traditional council in Ghana. So I was looking for the best language to speak that will make them know that Ghana not be their mates. Nigerians, they don't tell me say come go cash me. Come I don't they cash me since I don't know. Or is it because I don't come out here to talk about it on a daily basis, complain, cry, lament. After this video, if you're still subscribed to my channel, then it means you are here on your own. Be consoled, for I am not alone. I hope now you're happy. The hate is not on me alone. And it's not like I've done anything in particular for people to hate me. It's just because I'm Nigerian. Do you get it? So hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking on this video. That is if you are not new. If you're new here, hi, Lillian here. And I want to apologize to all of you, my amazing viewers for this video. And I want to also apologize because it's going to be a little longer than usual. That is because this is my last YouTube video and I hope you understand. I mean, my last YouTube video on this topic this is a promise i'm making you guys at least for this year there won't be another like this you guys i'm praying that god almighty will place love and light in the hearts of everyone that will come across this video whether you are in agreement with me or not maybe for whatever reason you have against me maybe i may have done something in the past that you don't like or we have disagreed in the past or you just don't like my person or you just get irritated when you see women whatsoever but whatever reason it is that you have that will make you not to understand this video i pray to god that he would take it away at least to the end of this video then after that you can receive back whatever you want in your heart i mean whatever you have for me in your heart can return to you in peace hmm. i almost didn't, didn't, didn't want to do this video but it is important to do it because i feel like sometimes regardless of what issues you have with someone they might just be dealing with issues that they need you to console them because they sees you they wouldn't know that you are also dealing with your own issues and maybe similar issues outside you are happy you are everything is looking nice or probably on youtube here you are getting the views or something and a lot of people might feel like like yes some people so it looks just perfect for you but <laughs> the case is not always like that and that is why i'm making this video so one of my nigerian brothers a youtuber here made a video and in his video he has this to say let us listen to, let's watch it together before i give my whatever opinion i want to give <laughs> let's do that and his subscriber count so you can't expect him to turn around or to you know leave this kind of content no no no. he can never go away from this one. instead he will go more deeper into this content this kind of content so what do you expect from this guy <laughs> so you can't expect something else from him and accept all this he has been a uh, video shaming his videos on nigerians 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 this nigerians that he gets aha so now his madam has given him the instruction. His madam has, has, you know, directed him to direct his attentions, his energies in everything, in Kewa, everything to Ibos of Nigerians. Uh -huh. So that is why he made this video that, that my brother from Nigeria sent me, that you can see one of the Ghanaians among the three. Of YouTubers, my Ghanaian YouTubers, you know, uh, rubbishing us while we are trying to please them. You get that kind of thing. So, this is my reply to you, my I brother. I didn't want to go further into that video because it talked about the madam. For those that will be quick to say, Oh, are you the only woman? He said, A Nigerian YouTuber, uh, the woman, the madam is a Nigerian YouTuber. And for those of you that knows him, if you want to see the full video, you can go and watch it so that you understand it. So, I am being accused of raising hatred towards, I mean, for the Igbos uh, in Ghana. So, directing Ghanaians to hate on the 
Igbos. But what my brother Sonny uh, Chima, what my brother here failed to understand is that you think that Ghanaians love me so much and this is making you feel a certain way. I'm here to console you, okay? I want to console you. Before we get to the parts of the Igbos in Ghana, I want to quickly make you, help you take a look at what Ghanaians are saying about me. They suppose, madam, that is controlling their minds against the Igbos. <laughs> Let's watch that together, okay? All right? <laughs> open mind, please. And the comment section is open. I will not block. I will not attack anybody. I won't fight back, I promise. Feel free to hear your mind at the comment section. But then, do so with one thing in your heart. Just do so, hope it, believing that what if this person is related to me, regardless of the fact that you hate me or you don't like me, which is not a must. You mustn't. There are people I also do not like. Just that in my case, I avoid their channels or their pages. I avoid them, basically. That is me. So let's watch this together. Yes. For the police to mishandle it. So yeah. it's like, in this case, it, it, it's more or less like the same thing going on here in Ghana sometimes. Yeah, mm, yeah. That's why the Igbo king is, you know, parading himself, giving gift to our leaders, so that when they commit any crime or anything, and then you call the police, police can never fight bribes. Mm. They are paying bribes to people instead of them to sit down and learn and stay away from trouble. They will trouble and go pay money. Are they sensible people? <laughs> yeah, rash. Right. Then what you are saying is very true. Wherever you go on these platforms, they'll be like, just report to the police. Why can't that means your police is not yeah. working, your immigrant is not working, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but, 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 uh, but they but that's not working. The, 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 the same issue we have in Ghana, you replicate it about 10 times, they have the same issue there. Their police is not working. That's why no, I exactly but that's why they want that to be reported because they know it's ineffective, so they can get away. They don't want citizens to take things into their own hands, so they keep saying, Why don't you report it to the police? They should they're not doing their job. Uh -huh. no, they're very good at mm -hmm. the best psychologists that are like and you know, it's the yeah. only people that are not yeah. their jobs. It's not to be the criminals, you know, it's not our business. We can be criminals, but if your yeah. immigration doesn't catch us, if your police mm -hmm. doesn't catch us, then we have yeah, what to do. That's, that's the right. nonsense this comes. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what Angie was saying that uh, a YouTuber was saying that the immigration told him uh, came to him, they came to the house. And she had the audacity to tell the immigration yeah. if they wanted, the they should come for her. I recently wrote to one of them and asked her, excuse me, what are you doing? Who asked you? Did Ghana ask you to be on social media? Ghana comparison, comparison this. He said, yeah. when somebody mm -hmm. wrote to me, but I said, are you ungrateful people? At the end of the day, they are promoting your country. I said, we no, don't care. We don't want them to promote Ghana. Nobody asked mm -hmm. them. No Ghanaian asked them to come and promote you know, anything. Ghanaians, Ghanaians, we yeah. don't promote ourselves. Our good behaviors promote yeah. us all the time. So they shouldn't. You we don't, don't need them. them. Show your own trumpet as soon as you say, Oh, we are the most. The, you, let, let me tell you something while I'm on this subject. You know, that thing that they usually found in America. I believe, Chima, I believe this will console you to know that I am also not loved. The person they are talking about the immigration issues is me. I made a video talking about numerous topics in that one video, but another YouTuber took some part of the video and reacted to it because she was trying to pass a message in that video with all the caption in it you know during a nigerian youtuber caught in the act and all that and you know on here a lot of the time people don't watch the content the people just based on the caption of a video the thumbnail and all that so someone another a Ghanaian that particular woman talking went to maybe she went there to leave a comment things didn't go as they wanted nobody to defend me nobody to explain or whoever was trying to defend me i have to pay for it they have to come make a live video on me talking about me for refusing to go to the immigration office now this is not like the immigration office thing it's not like the immigration said tell lillian to come it's not like that and if you see my video the one i posted on my channel you understand it's not like they say come to our office and me arrogantly refuse to go because i'm a nigerian living in ghana that is not the case there are so many things that 
I can't explain here, but one of my subscribers, I called him, I told him, and he was like, yes, you can't, you're going nowhere. Okay. The safety of Ghana is also important to me, not because I love her so much, mm, because if I say I love her, they will say I'm saying it for the views. So, but because I live here too. So what if Ghana is not safe for me? My own home is not safe for me. Where will I go? I cannot afford Canada. I cannot afford other countries. I'm here. So when the immigration asks that people come, they didn't say tell Lillian to come. They were looking for people who has the legal papers and I didn't want to go. You know why? Because the day immigration come here, they know my door. They didn't knock. The only time they were coming to me was when I was still at the other place and they keep on advising me each visit they tells me go for your ghana card go for your non-citizen card they, they went they entered my apartment inspected my kids and asked me why they are home so i explained to them that my kids were home because of midterm break and that was the truth so it was cool they checked my passport it was correct i have not overstayed i was going to nigeria frequently then right every three months or two months they about i used to go home they twice they came they gave the advice go for your ghana card the immigration offices officers were the one that said so to me they have never been a time they knock at my door and i don't open never i have always opened received them they don't have issues with me so if they had issues with me the day they came here they would have knocked at my door but that was not it they said some people they said people should come and i was supposed to go because i'm one of the persons that has the legal papers so that means me going to cover up people that refuse to open their doors when they come here to knock you understand i am not a stupid person i'm a very honest and obedient person so a lot of people in my shoes would have taken advantage of the fact that I have a child from here who is partly Ghanaian. I would have easily, you know, tell baby daddy, let's go to, I want this, I want that for the baby, or I want this for myself. And they, for, they can't deny my daughter these things because she's Ghanaian. There's nothing we can do about it. You dislike me, you hate me, you hate her, you hate whatever. She is Ghanaian and that is not my making. Do you understand? It was not like I purposely wanted to have that baby for that. So if I'm someone who wants to take advantage of the policies here, I could do it. But I'm living my life in, I'm living my life here honestly and obediently and just loving and doing things that I like that are in accordance with the law. What am I getting? That let me tell you, before this women and the men at the live stream, the same channel that Shima is accused using me of working with the same channel before they got to this part where i choose to react on they bragged about their soldiers the ghanaian soldiers working with the u.s soldiers who brought that out here guess who me some of you are aware of that already right but some of us didn't know so when i saw it i was quick to bring it out because yeah why not i'm proud i'm proud of ghana my love for this country cannot can i don't know what to do if i know how to unlove ghana i would have done it but i don't know my anger with anyone from this country lasts for just a minute it goes away the fact that i don't come out here to complain all the time doesn't mean that i am loved i know you see this video chima there was a time I, this particular channel you're seeing, every day they'll call Lily Ogini. People will send voice notes from around the world telling them about Lily Ogini and they were pre preaching that no Ghanaian should send me any aids again. <laughs> Do you understand? And they were very precise. Lily Ogini, Lily Ogini, Lily Ogini. That the day I'm going to leave Ghana, they are going to chase me. I will run away. What did I do? Nothing. My only offense is when I came and because I was praying, I wanted something that I would use to silence all those. Some Nigerians are in the habit of looking down on Ghana. Do you understand? Because I was tired of fighting. I go here. This one is, is dragging Ghana or Ghanaians is dragging them. They are this, they are. I was tired of always going there to fight because it's supposed to be like that. I, they are my people. I am supposed to talk to my people. So I was looking for the best language to speak that will make them know that Ghana will not be their mates. He opportunity came. I saw Addis Adel. I was like, ooh. I saw Prempe College and I saw Presec. I saw the rest. Fancy Pin, Wesley Girls, Holy Child, name them. I was busy at Chimota School. I was busy putting these videos out. Every girls, name them. I can't remember all. There are many. I wanted them to see this is the country you, you the culinary. Me, self, I didn't know they have all this. What did I get in return? Hatred. Did I die? No. But my love for ghana is my life in, for ghana is complicated you know why 
I have Ghanaians that loves me so much and they would donate blood for me. During the hard time when they were preaching hard, every every day you hear voice note. Either you hear it on um, the Nigerian channel, the one that is the real voice of hate. You hear it there or you hear it on this guy's channel. Lily Ogini, Lily Ogini, Lily Ogini must go. Some they speak in tree. The other one they threatened my life. To the point that I wanted to go to the police and lay a report. Just for my dear life. What did I do every day? I ask. Waiting be my offense. So you coming to accuse me of being the brain behind that. It's just so unfair. What do you want? You want me to, you want to see me sit down here every day and complain about what I go through in Ghana in the hands of the same people you are accusing me of? Or because I said I talked about that one of the channels, one of those channels. In the past I used to comment on the same channel you are accusing me of being their boss. <laughs> what a title. That's quite big. And impressive i used to comment because i didn't know where he was heading with his content i thought maybe he was fighting back fighting trolls nigerian trolls so i didn't know that he has his own mission and who am i to come and tell somebody in his land what to do or say tell me who am i i unsubscribe i'm not following rash again not because I hate him. He's an incredible guy because, you know, I like him because he's bold. I like bold people. Regardless of how bold you are, maybe negatively or positively, you are bold. I know with that potential, if you put it to use in a positive way, man, you are an amazing person. Do you get it? That is why I like Rush online. And I used to comment, I thought maybe he was after Nigerian trolls. But that is not the case. But now let me blow your bubbles, okay? Now, Chima, let me educate you on something. I am not the reason for the whatever you think people have against the Igbos in Ghana. Let's watch this video together. There are lots of them and I'll play them all. One after the other. Just for you, okay? The population of Nigerians in Ghana is about 4 million. And this 4 million, the Igbos are the majority. We got traditional council from the greater Accra region of the Republic of Ghana inducted him as a member of the traditional council in Ghana. With this induction, His Highness Dr. Ambassador Hinitu become the first ever foreigner to have been inducted into the traditional council in Ghana. And that gives him the opportunity to have a seat in the GAR Traditional Council, attend GAR Traditional Council's meeting, as well as joining the council in making some policies that will affect traditional institutions in the country and beyond. I don't understand so am i this video i got it from the new channel i saw i'm a, I'm a ghana observer one of the channels that were talking about me that you are accusing me of being their boss <laughs> what a title their madam in your words so i saw it there did i react to it no i didn't yeah. so how are you how come i'm the how come i'm the brain behind this all of this what the Igbos are going through in ghana like when they themselves they put the, put yourselves out there the same channel that you gave a shout out to which is you say man in jabi you called him you gave it you talked about him highly uh -huh. in him there was something nice you said about him i look at you sometime that's chima you i look at you and i'll be like dear god if this is how male child are i am not interested i don't see the difference between you and Brobriski. in my opinion it's just that Brobriski is a cross-dresser but when it comes to a man who wants to be a woman you beat Brobriski hands down you copy everything i do now I'm doing something on my channel you feel like okay it's looking like oh she's getting the views now you don't know how to join instead of you to do as you used to do like you used to copy me join in peace no you not join you want to come and look for ways to corner corner come and stand there and be hitting on you can't if you are a coward you can't face Ghanaians then leave it or you can't face other channels leave it don't 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 put it on me okay leave it just be like me that takes it from Ghanaians and I'm, I don't complain. I take it and swallow it. The only thing I know is that that immigration something, if you not like, then go cry tire. I won't go. But any day the immigration needs me, they know where to find me. What are you saying? Do you know why? So because I'm a foreigner living in Ghana, if they just say, eat vomit, I go chop them. No, I'm human to start with. Do you understand? I am human. So, but I didn't come here crying. Oh, they have said this about me. Did you see me do that? And they look for who to blame? No, I take it because I live here in their land. This is not my home. 
Do you get it? I have I know, but it doesn't mean that I will just do whatever anybody asks me to do just because this is not my home. No. And the that reply that they got that got them to do this live video on my head. It's not like I was the one that said it to Lily will never go and say, Oh, I promote you, I do this. No, nobody sent me to promote Ghana. Nobody told me to talk about Ghana. Ghana is promoted already. So whatever I'm doing is my pretentious Nigerian way in their own words. So I don't know why you still want my head on the table. How many things do you want me? What do you want from me, my brother? I know better pass you. We're suffering the same. It's just like you. you. You have a problem. Your heart is dark and lonely. And you want, you want what I have, but you can't get. I am a woman. You are a man. Do you get it? And I am different. I was raised different. You were raised different. You were raised to be a coward. I wasn't raised that way. So that's the difference. If I wanted to make a video facing rash, takes me nothing. Hi, yes, it will go and send people to come and hate on me, which a lot of you have done before you fail. And <laughs> even if after this video, if you're still subscribed to my channel, then it means you are here on your own. If you have issues with people and you can't face them, don't use me. I'm not part of I have nothing to do with it. Now let's continue to listen to the Igbo king in Ghana. He has more things to say. Let's listen, let's listen to his Abin, Shebina Highness, Abina is Her Majesty, whichever. I don't really know the difference because uh, I, I don't know this. But I'm creating Igbo village, which has never happened in the history of the world, among the Igbos in the world. By, as I'm talking to you, I've acquired 50 acres of land, that is 250 plus of land, along the uh, Flower Road, that is at Old, Old Ningo area, by, along that road, it's right on the road, I acquired 250 plus of land. My reason of acquiring this land is to build Igbo village in Ghana. I call it Amandi Igbo in Ghana. We'll build a village where we're going to build the palace of Faze Ibo there, a huge palace. We we'll built Ibo Town Hall there with about 2,000 capacity chairs and 100 rooms guest house. The essence of this guest house is that uh, most of the times our governors and our Ibo great leaders do come to Ghana, you know, they always go with their entourage. If they come to Ghana, their entourage will see where they, the, where they will lodge for free of charge. Did I also put that out here, Chima? Hmm? Did I? I have nothing to do with this. I didn't even know about all of this. I'm like, I just, I'm just seeing them here on the internet. I trust if, if it was someone like you, you would have just jumped at it. If I have picked this video, make a reaction here, you'd have, you people will say I'm the one. So now, this one now, when you see now, what, am I the one behind it? Hmm? If you are too afraid to face people that uh, you have issues with, why don't you leave it rather than try to rub it on me? I'm human too. Some of you don't know that I'm human. The fact that I sit here, I act strong, doesn't mean that I have it going good for me. Just this week, I woke up on Monday morning only for my phone to ring a WhatsApp call and it was my niece. My, one of my friends, a man who is like a brother to me, just passed. Just went to bed and didn't wake up because of stress. We talked on Facebook like a week ago only for him to pass. I am supposed to be there, but I can't, I can't afford it because I have other issues that I'm dealing with. I was dealing with that, trying to mourn him and trying to just, you know, keep strong. You, you are busy coming for me. Other people are busy hosting live streams for me. What do people want? I turn like this when I say I don't to do. I do this when I say I don't to do. What thing I do? Hmm? If you're having issues in Ghana, I'm not the only one. Now, let me play another video by an Igbo man that sent a message to Ghanaians warning them to leave his tribe alone on that same channel that i am being accused of being they are patron <laughs> madam rather madam in nigeria it means someone in charge okay and it is usually for people with money rich and powerful so i don't mind the title anyways it becomes it's consoling it's consoling it's consoling i like it Right. We create a job in Ghana and employ Ghanaians. Yes, we pay them salaries. Yes, we are not in the Ghana. We are not in Ghana to kill Ghanaians. We are there to develop, develop Ghana. We are one of the most strong guest tribe you can ever talk in this life. We are drawing war with we Igbos. Don't do that shit with us because you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have it. What is the problem? What caused this? It's a long video and I don't think how it will be able to fit in here. So if you want to see it, the same channel that Chima is accusing me of sponsoring or being the director general. <laughs> 
you can see it there where an Igbo man sent a video a voice note warning Ghanaians threatening them ordering them on how he wants things to be done he did not mention Nigeria he was very precise in his message talked about the Igbos but when the replies were coming from my brothers from Ghana what did I hear animals Nigerians are criminals Nigerians are animals Nigerians are this Nigerians are that Nigerians are this a lot of them, it's just a few of them that remembered that this man said Igbo. He came in the name of Igbo. Like I am coming to you in the name of the Lord. So what are you supposed to do? Are you not supposed to come back to me in the name of the Lord? <laughs> no. They went in the name of... A lot of them lost, lose control and they were insulting Nigerians. Every Nigerian criminal people, useless. Get out of our land. Go. Now... <sighs> You know why I'm talking about this? Because you are coming to accuse me of being the sponsor of these channels, like especially Rash, saying that I am I am be I'm, I am the one giving orders. The fact that you can't call my name, you already know. You and Bob Risky, the difference is that you aren't bold enough to like to come out clean that oh I'm not really a man, I am a woman. Do you understand? Because this guy wants everything that I have. I do a video about school, you join me. I do this one, you copy. I do this one, you copy. All of you that says you love Ghana, including the spokesman for the um the real club that the, the, those people that dislike Nigerians, he, they are they are spokesperson. I haven't seen a video of where this man put out any other thing out there apart from the food or go out there to showcase anyway. I have done all of that. Nobody sent me. Yeah, the comment section is open. Who sent you? Leave us alone. <laughs> I know nobody sent me. <laughs> okay, nobody sent me, but I did it and I'm proud of it. The ones I have done, if I know what make I do again, I don't get problem. But what about the one when I don't do? When some people are even using to brag and drag me. So, okay, can't you see our this hour? So, how am I supposed to deal with this? Come back here, cry for myself inside my room and still come and look for who to blame? I have taken it because, of course, I know that Nigerians, they don't tell me, say, come and go cash me. Come and don't they cash me since? I don't know. Or is it because I don't come out here to talk about it on a daily basis? Complain, cry, lament. I won't lie that I have incredible Ghanaians and they are the one I'm looking at. What about my brother Kofi that literally stood by me when I was depressed for, for weeks. I couldn't even make a post on here. I was depressed. I thought I'm a strong person but when attacks is coming from Ghanaians it breaks me. And that is because I care. And my brother was telling me it's because you care Lily. It's because you care. If you don't care it won't break you. He never judged me. He stood by me, supported me. He never sees wrong in anything I do. When I tell him, bro, am I not fighting too much? You said you are being yourself. Be yourself. Shine bright. Anything I do. This is a Ghanaian man. People are loving me genuinely. What about someone that came all the way from the US with makeup products? <laughs> because he asked me to shop for products. I said, makeup me. When I did my Ghana card... When I didn't do that card, nobody, none of you told me to go and do it. It was when I was done doing. People started sending me the money. I received that money twice from two people. Congra oh, you have done your Ghana card. Congratulations. How much is it? I told them. They sent way more than that. I mean, above that for me. So when the campaigns were coming that people should stop helping me, I didn't die. Did I die? Mba. Are they here? No die. You understand? But it won't stop me from loving this country. I don't know why. If it is because of maybe the views, according to the accusations, it's because of the views. If it's because of the views, no problem. But I know I love this country. And I can't just sit up here and just dislike the entire... I have issues here in Ghana, right? I have... My my baby daddy and I have been back and forth, him and his girlfriend. The girlfriend even go as far as telling me you're not Ghanaian, you're this. If I want to look at all those things and I'll hate the entire population when the people are so nice. I mean, like, how does it even work? I can't hate. Mm? I can't hate. I love Ghana and that is it. I don't know what you people want from me, actually, basically. I don't know what you people want from me. Make her they cry every day, they complain, say Ghanaian hate me. It will give you joy, Abby. I won't talk about it again. And this is why I say this is my last YouTube video in this regard. Anybody that have issues with me, you just all you have to do is go to the police. So they said I should have gone to the immigration, like Bibao, like what is my offense? Did the immigration said Lily should come? Lillian should come. You went to someone else, took a video, captioned it the way she wants, reacted on it. You capitalize on that. Instead of you to head straight to my channel to go see the complete version. Because she did her job. She took the part that she wanted to work with. This is this um, in Ghana and in Nigeria. It doesn't happen that way. 
and then I have to pay for that sin. What what is my offense? I get attacked by Nigerians. I get attacked by Ghanaians. I, I have not blamed anybody for the Nigeria own. I've decided to fight back because now the only way be that <laughs> you know fight back, then go defeat you. So you guys, uh, Chima, I'm I'm not the Igbo people's problem in Ghana. Okay. I know incredibly Igbos. No matter what I sit down here and get angry with some of you and say it to individual, like I attack individuals, there are still Igbo that would donate blood for me if, if needs be. Mm. They see no wrong. Like, no matter how much I talk, if I talk to them, I scream at one of them. If anything to me, I know that some Igbos could still donate blood to give me. That is how it is for me with Ghana. Even if some Ghanaians attack me, it won't stop me from loving Ghana. For you, you guys come out here, you say they say they are forcing you to promote, talk good about Ghana to do that. I have never said that. Nobody have, nobody have ever forced me to do whatever I'm doing here. The only time people try to force me to do content that I don't want to do is like sending me videos from Nigeria. Oh, talk about this that is happening in your country. And I said, that is not my area. I don't want to do that. But now that I'm on the, the spotlight is on Nigeria. If you have such videos, you are welcome. Send them. <laughs> do you understand? So if you're crying because you feel like your people are attacked, you will never lift a finger to defend Nigeria. But when it concerns Igbo, that is when we hear you people coming out. But when it concerns Nigeria, you don't care. Even if the world hates on Nigeria, abuse Nigeria, you know they concern you. You can even join them. So what do you want? You think you can give people trouble without you being troubled? No, it doesn't work that way, son. They say Pekin, where say mama no go sleep, himself no go sleep. <laughs> You understand? Peking when say him mama no go sleep. He save no go sleep. It simply means that for you to trouble others, you have to be troubled. Mm? For you to stay, keep others awake, you too have to be awake. So the heat is coming. We go take them. Everybody they collect. You don't want your tribe to be talked about. And you're looking for who to blame? Me, who should I go and blame? If, if I die for Ghana right now, you just take some of some of my amazing Ghanaians who have mercy, donate money and maybe send my body to my family or find a place in Ghana and bury it. I don't have a tribe that I can call to say, okay, please come for me. All right, I'm not that privileged. I'm not from a big, rich family. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. You are angry that Ghanaians are attacking your tribe. What about me? What about me? Is there anything more painful than people telling you what these people said at the live stream over something that I didn't do? <sighs> Be consoled, for I am not alone. I hope now you're happy. The hate is not on me alone. And it's not like I've done anything in particular for people to hate me. It's just because I'm Nigerian. <laughs> do you get it?